Turner Home Entertainment proudly presents Trials of Life, the award-winning show that takes you for an unforgettable walk on the wild side. Filmed on location around the globe in breathtaking cinematography, nature's beauties and beasts is uncensored in its graphic realism, unbelievable in its riveting power. Join acclaimed naturalist David Attenborough for this probing look into the wildest kingdoms where the law of the jungle is the jaw of the jungle. Finally, the original Trials of Life, the award-winning series that has caught the attention of the entire world, is now available from Turner Home Entertainment. Trials of Life is the most successful general interest video release ever. Here's what the critics have to say. Trials of Life is to nature what the Civil War is to American history, claims the New York Post. People magazine says of Trials of Life, the footage is extraordinary. And the Chicago Sun-Times says David Attenborough's Trials of Life is an awesome achievement. To fully reap the rewards of Turner's one-of-a-kind offer, we have created a variety of collections. Each single unit is available for only $19.98 per cassette. Also available are three attractive mini gift sets, each with its own unique theme. The miracle of birth comes with arriving, courting, continuing the line, and growing up. The battle to survive comes with fighting, finding food, hunting and escaping, and talking to strangers. And at home in the wild comes with friends and rivals, finding the way, living together, and homemaking. These eye-catching mini gift sets are available for a limited time only at $69.98 each, a savings of $10 per pack, or save $40 off the single unit price when you buy the entire Ultimate Adventure Collection. That's all 12 episodes for only $199.98. Plus, by purchasing the Ultimate Adventure Collection, you get the making of Trials of Life. This never-before-released look at the making of Trials of Life is a $20 value, yours absolutely free. This means a total savings of $60 on this ultimate gift set. Call your distributor now to find out about a counter display unit packed with these best-selling titles. Trials of Life will be featured in a nationwide advertising campaign with television commercials airing on the five Turner networks as well as the airport channel. Trials of Life, the grippy, award-winning nature video series that exposes the struggle to survive through uncensored, shocking photography. The award-winning Trials of Life pre-order dates September 28th, with a street date of October 13th. Don't be fooled by imitators. This is the original Trials of Life, the preeminent tour of the wild in all its splendor. And Trials of Life makes for a great gift, perfectly timed for the fourth quarter holiday season.
this is an even greater mystery. A killer whale, 30 feet long, eight tons in weight. Every year, the same group of about a dozen of them assemble off the sea lion nursery to hunt. cottontail rabbit. They will only manage to catch it if there are several of them. The two on the ground chase it out. Those perching can now get a clear sight. This strange insect is a murderous and very hard-working wasp. She is digging a tunnel to serve as her nursery. As a result of her dedication, 90% of her eggs survive to hatch. Even then, she won't desert. She stays with her caterpillars to protect them. But a single guard can't be everywhere at the same time. So her young, instead of scattering to feed, remain together. The moment for hatching has arrived. Baby antelopes, whose parents have to travel continuously to find food, must be as fully developed as possible, for they need to walk within hours, groggy though they may be. When things are scarce in this harsh world, you may have to fight to get your fair share of them. First, a cautious assessment. This, impressive though it seems, is still merely a measurement of each other's strength. If one is a little less strong, there is still time for discretion to be the better part of valor. But if both decide they have a chance of winning, then battle begins.
Now the rivals must fight it out. With his opponent overturned, the victor can claim his prize. The vanquished can only lie by helplessly. So, animals and ourselves, to continue the line, will endure all kinds of hardship, overcome all kinds of difficulties, and eventually, the next generation appears. A young wallaby doesn't leave the pouch at all for about five months. Towards the end of that time, it's so big and heavy that if its mother is hopping downhill, she may turn it out so that she isn't tripped up by it. Childhood, of course, is a time for play. Still, it takes a bit of getting used to. For these youngsters, baby albatross on the Leeward Islands in the Pacific, the ending of childhood is brutally abrupt. Within the next few days, they must fly. If they don't get it right first time, the results could be catastrophic. Of the million bats that were born five weeks ago in there, three quarters will be dead before they're adult. So for this little creature, the trials of life really are just starting. Good luck to you. The elephant shrew of Africa guides itself with its eyes as it careers along its runways. It spends three quarters of its waking hours keeping its network of tracks clear. A single twig could trip it up and bring disaster. Its safety depends on knowing every curve and twist in its pathways so that it can outrun most of its enemies, like a black-shouldered kite. Maybe they have some kind of inbuilt compass. Perhaps they use a sense we haven't yet identified. The fact of the matter is, we've still got a lot to learn about the ways in which animals find their way around. One of the problems that faces us and all animals is finding enough to eat. These golden globes hanging from the roof are their storage pots, full of honey. Each one is alive, an ant with an abdomen expanded to the size of a grape. The small dark flecks are the hard plates which protect the body of a normal-sized ant. It's the membrane between them that is stretched.
It's not always easy to decide in these partnerships which is exploiting which. The balance of advantage is often very delicate. Take, for example, these ants in Australia. They are extremely ferocious, and normally they'll rip apart any caterpillar. But see how they're treating this one. Arguments and squabbles between adult animals striving to maintain their position within their community are common enough. But acts of assistance in which one adult animal goes to the aid of another that's got itself into difficulties, these are much rarer. The queen, mother of all the members of the colony. She is as big as a newborn mouse. The workers continually groom and clean every part of her great body one appears, a tiny white bead. A worker waits for it to emerge completely, feeling it delicately with its jaws. It picks it off and takes it away to the nursery chambers. The grubs that develop from fertilized eggs mostly become members of the exclusively female workforce. With this spectacular feat of craftsmanship, she converts two floppy leaves into a single firm cup. Only spiders and insects have the ability to produce silk, and this strange insect, a web spinner, has spinnerets on the end of its forelegs, like boxing gloves. The first step is to tie a leaf strip onto a twig. It's not easy, for the fibre is very springy. Those cells that will contain young are first three quarters filled with pollen. Then the huge queen comes over to inspect them. To find the inhabitants, you have to penetrate much further into the nest. This, six feet beneath the surface of the earth, is the cellar of the colony. Its floor is studded with shafts that go down 12, 14 feet down to the water table where the worker termites can gather moist mud to carry on their building. And its ceiling is a great plate which carries the entire way to the colony. We might like to think that we are the most accomplished architects that the world has ever seen, but if this was built in human terms with every worker termite the size of me, then it would stand a mile high, and we haven't done that yet. Man and bird have a mutual understanding which began in prehistory and which still today enables them to speak to one another. I'm talking to a mole rat. As the wild dogs start hunting, the gazelles don't simply run away. They make these extraordinary leaps. This action is a message which says, in effect, my jumps show that I am strong and could probably outrun you.